It's the main event here at Raw Grappling Championship 2 between Lucas Hulk Barbosa and Tom Brecher. Brecher with the GB rash guard, the Ados rash guard for Barbosa. Red band on the left leg of Brecher. A lot of talk between these two, even some mutual respect, Dean. And it's all come down to this. Yeah, Barbosa's a powerhouse. And his style is more conductive to MMA, you know, based on takedowns and positional control from the top position. It translates beautifully to his no-gi game. And after meeting at the press conference at Rock Grappling Championship 1, words were exchanged, the challenge was issued. And actually, Barbosa came up and did a seminar at GB Sutton. Brecher said he was scouting him. There were gym rounds. He sees openings and he wants to be the new Hulk in town. Let's see if he can do it. Looking for head control there. And an assistant head, head slap there from, from Tom. He's got to be careful about getting uh, too excited here. A clubbing hand there from Brecher. He's getting physical early here. Yeah, he's got to be careful about this, particularly if he gives up you know, a penalty situation or gets a warning from the referee. And also, he doesn't want to activate himself too much. You know, he burned himself out. He'll get um, t two kind of, um, you know, uh, we call it in sports science, to the arousal a dip. You know, you get two arousal and your performance dips. Get to a point where you, you know, you break the rules, you get overly aggressive, you make mistakes. And, you know, we don't want to see that from Tom. We know he's a consummate professional. He's a very smart and switched on guy. And he's got the skills to win this one. I don't know about you, Dean, but I've never been there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the action continues here, just shy of uh, 10 minutes left on the clock. Out of distance here, at head control. Looking for the level changes, Barbosa. It's a physical game between these two. It's what we expected. Brecher cut an awful lot of weight, though. That was one of my thoughts at yesterday's press conference. But Barboza conversely said, look, I've been putting on weight, too. I knew this fight was coming. Yeah, I mean, in 2021 as well, Lucas has mainly competed in no-gi matches as well, you know, putting together an impressive 19-3 and record. Notable wins over Gilbert Burns, Leandro Lowe, Mateus Denise, Yuri Simmons, the list goes on. Well, Barbosa, as we mentioned on the walkout, undefeated it here at Raw. After winning the title last year, Brecher going out of the tournament. He came into the GP, the eight-man GP at Raw won, losing, but is back and motivated and focused. At this point in time, it's kind of like a, a shield against shield with regards to dominance, assertiveness, power. You know, and to be honest, like it, it might come down to a point where who gets tired first, whose neck gets tired from being pulled down. You know, who gets a little bit frustrated and wants to initiate a takedown. At this point, I think it's just a contest, uh, like a measuring contest. You know, who's got the biggest power, who's got the most aggressive force. And I think that's a confidence thing for uh, Tom as well. We know he. Uh, he eludes confidence and, and, and really like builds it up inside, and, and it, that comes out in his performances. Standing a little bit tall for my liking as well, Chris. You could see a level change from Barbosa. Yeah, I was wondering about that because Brecher was kind of standing tall. And look at this. Oh, oh. he's got to be careful about our bounds. That's a good sh uh, show, show of sportsmanship. That could have been a rather long fall for Barbosa, and Tom uh, retracted and, and got back on the mat. Hey, man, they're going to need a safety net over there shortly. Yeah. Or a line of Spartans to block them from going out of bounds and off the stage. Two very powerful men here on the mat. I saw a couple of our uh, staff getting ready to try to catch those two going off, but I'd say good luck to 200 kilos coming your direction at that speed. What's the strategy, though? If Brecher's given up those grips, is he hoping to try to gain some kind of entry or allow Barboza to overstep? Well, when he's framing on the face, he's trying to create some distance. He doesn't want his head to be pulled down in the sense that he, for the head snaps or to allow him to, uh, you know, when he goes back up to the sky, he doesn't want to allow Barbosa to dip in like just like that and get the takedown. Big, powerful takedown out of bounds. Brecher feeling the vibes as he's taken down straight up off the mat. 
These two did promise entertainment. Yeah, we might see Tom now switching the gear. You know, it's not tip for tat, it's not kick for kick now. You can see there, he's dropped his levels. Before he was standing tall, he was using his strength and his assertiveness. Now, he's looking for avenues. He's dropping his level. He's looking for the, the head tie, looking for the collar tie, looking to frame, get the angle, you know. Now he's starting to try and uh, put forward like a convulsive plan to try and uh, get back down to the ground. He takes the, the seat there on the ground, looking to invert for the leg lock. Surprised? Not, not in the sense here. I mean, he knows that Barbosa is going to aggressively try and pass, and that's when he's got the angular motion there to try and uh, look for the leg locks. So, you know, he knows Barbosa is going to swing from side to side, and when he swings, he has to step with his foot, and that's when Tom can attack it. See there, he inverts around. He's going to kick the leg through. Oh, beautiful work, but an amazing awareness there from Barbosa to pull it out of jeopardy. Well, cat like maneuvers there from Barbosa. The sprinting escape, if you will. Pressure from Barbosa. Brecher looking to stay with the position, turning in. Barbosa going for the back here. Can he truck him? Not quite. Oh, fired the arm underneath the neck. Difficult to see from our vantage point. Barbosa getting the back on Thomas Brecher. That was a beautiful entry. A little word with his coach there. I didn't catch what they said. Barbosa one hook in there on the control. Got an over under. Brecher. Two on one. Not quite two on one, actually. Body triangle here for Barbosa. This is going to mess with the breathing as well for Tom. Back to the traditional hooks for Barbosa. Strong legs, but look at the flatten out there. Dominant top hip pressure, as we saw from Fion earlier on. And Barbosa in search of a rear naked choke here. With an ample time on the clock. And again, looking to fire the hips down. He's going to look to try and punch the arms down and then trap them underneath the body of Tom. Then he can start to attack the neck more readily. At this point in time, Tom needs to try and uh, give up the mount. He could also drive that bottom knee in and lever the uh, leg to the outside and look for the half guard as well. One of those things where Barbosa is not going to be so worried about anything but just trying to get the hand underneath the neck, or is he going to transition to something else here? He's oh, he's look, actually aborted. Yeah. He's going to look for the back here. There's the armbar attempt. He's going to swing that leg over. Watch him to swing that right leg over and chop down on the head of Tom. A nice defense there from Brecher, triangling his arm. As Barbosa looks to continue the assault, it may be going back to back control. Yeah, or back is he going to go to a triangle? triangle. Yep. He'll have that affordance there. Oh, he's got it. He can attack the arm as well. There's the tap. Beautiful work, Chris. And a combination from Barbosa going shoulder lock and triangle. And it happens so quickly. Lucas Barbosa in London defends the belts. We have show promoter a game and, and valiant David Thomas Brecher, but the Lucas the Hulk Barbosa too much in the end. Belt. Yeah, back David control, Robinson, and he put Tom in the bucket. He forced the hip the downward to get belt. the angle for the armbar. Yeah, Tom did a great job against a very powerful, incredible opponent. Well, the belt goes to that man. <laughs> Flying in from Eugene, Oregon into London. He's got his crew with him in the corner. They look happy. You know, he took this fight seriously. We spoke to Lucas and we said, look, you know, you are probably the favorite here on paper. He said, yeah, but none of that matters. I'm going to go out this and it's going to be a fight and it's always going to be a fight that I take very seriously. Yeah, and he used dominant old school traditional jiu-jitsu pressure from the top position to expose the back. Didn't see the armbar, so he went for the triangle, you know, an excellent showcase from Lucas Barbosa. To Peter Lowe with the verdict. And ladies and gentlemen, show your appreciation for both men, please. But with four minutes and 31 seconds still left on the clock, your winner by way of submission. And still the minus 88 kilogram raw grappling championships champion from Brazil. It's Lucas Barbosa. Well, the Hulk and is back in town. Brecher promised a Tom replacement. Brecher. He said, I'm going to steal his name and his legacy and create one of my own. But I tell you what, 
he might have to wait a couple of years because Barbosa is still as sharp as ever. Yeah, the pink slips are up for the name and it goes back to the original owner, Lucas Barbosa. And again, that top pressure, understanding his physical skill sets, you know, working to the back. He pushed down on the hip to push uh, Tom in the bucket to expose the, the uh, armbar, Chris. But it's beautiful the way he switched to that triangle and then attacked the arm as well for further threat. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. It was a game Thomas Brecher from the get-go. Barbosa and Brecher clubbing each other, shucking each other, trying to gain some level of control and emphasize their dominance. Yeah, at this point in time, it was kind of like a showcase of power, and then Tom seemed to switch into gear and try and work off of his back. He framed well, you know, he, he clashed swords with Barbosa initially on the feet. see here the frames Barbosa tapping the leg there <laughs> Tom taps somewhere else uh, you can't deny this man's exciting to watch a beautiful penetrative double leg there as they go out of bounds and there was the uh, back mounted triangle you can see that he's talking the uh, the arm like in a emotion that we see sometimes with the Americana see there he secures it and then he's affecting the arm there's a shoulder lock that goes on could have been the choke as well but it was all she wrote in favor of Lucas Barbosa.